Laredo's new sugar and spice football franchise, the Laredo Roses, found itself without a venue to host its season opener Saturday night after City of Laredo officials and Lamers president Mark Schuster reneged on a verbal contract to let them use Unitrade Stadium earlier in the week, much to the frustration of Roses players and fans. We were all hyped up to be able to play here in the stadium. Actually, we were the only be we were the only team that were going to play in the stadium. Everyone else were going to play in the park, so we were kind of excited. Since it's new and everything, we wanted also to be a play here. And when they when we found out about the news, we all got disappointed. I'm not going to lie, uh, but it's nothing that for us to uh, be sad about. Because either way, wherever we're playing a stadium or if a field, we're still going to play our best. The Roses staged a protest outside the stadium an hour before their game was scheduled to kick off, and eventually marched on the stadium's main entrance. Sugar and Spice League Commissioner Rebecca Garza said she felt her organization had been caught in the crossfire of a fight between Schuster and City Hall, and implored city leaders to allow her teams to play. Guys, to the mayor, this can all be resolved with a simple phone call. It's really not that big of a deal. It is to us, but it's not that big a deal to the city or to the stadium that we've already made all these arrangements for. They've trained for so long to get to this moment. This doesn't need to be like this. Please, somebody can fix this. After roughly 90 minutes of protesting, an alternative site for Saturday's game was found at Father Magnabo Park in Northwest Laredo. The team was able to play after all, but Rose's player Monique Benavides couldn't help but still be disappointed in the day's events. I feel that it's a major disappointment in Laredo. We had already held a contract and I feel that Corpus came a long way to hold a, a game here and that a championship should be here. But I mean, it's no problem. We're always looking forward and we're going to take it to the park. As long as we play, that's what Corpus and Laredo have inside of us. We just want to play. For more on the story, check out Sunday's edition of the Laredo Morning Times. This has been Kenny Ryan of the Laredo Morning Times reporting.